From spy balloons to foreign spies, it's fair to say U.S. relations with China are tense these days. Now those concerns over national security are giving rise to legislation that would put restrictions on Chinese land ownership here in the States. The Washington Post analyzed data compiled by an Asian Pacific American advocacy group. They found that lawmakers in 33 states have introduced more than 80 bills this year to do just that. The general aim is to prohibit the Chinese government, China-based businesses, and many Chinese citizens from buying agricultural land or property near military bases. It's an issue Straight Arrow News has followed closely. Proponents say action is necessary to prevent the Chinese government from setting up spy operations. There are also concerns about the U.S. food supply if hostile foreign powers buy up too much agricultural land. They have had a concerted effort to acquire farmland throughout the United States. But our food security is also national security. And so we don't want the CCP in charge of, of any of the food production. So we, when you see that, when you see what they're doing in the Western Hemisphere to expand their influence, uh, we really need to have a unified effort in this country uh, to deter the CCP's ambitions and their influence. But we think it's important to note 17 other countries own more American farmland than China. Most of the bills would also restrict land ownership tied to other foreign adversaries like Russia, Iran, and North Korea. The focus for lawmakers remains China. That's because in addition to recent espionage efforts by Beijing, U.S. government officials have also been concerned by an uptick in Chinese land purchases. According to the Department of Agriculture, Chinese ownership of U.S. farmland leapt more than 20-fold over the last decade with major jumps in recent years. In 2020, U.S. companies with Chinese shareholders more than doubled their acreage of American land owned. The following year saw an increase of 98 percent when you compare it to purchases made from 2015 to 2019. However, Asian American advocacy groups believe measures aimed at limiting these purchases go beyond national security concerns and could encourage discrimination against Chinese Americans. I want to be clear. There are legitimate national and economic security concerns that the United States faces with these specific foreign governments. And to ensure we are addressing these concerns, we in KPAC are not opposing limits on these types of entities from making purchases of land or property, that is from their governments. But what we do staunchly object to is any legislation at the federal, state, or local level that bars an individual from property ownership solely based on their country of origin. Meanwhile, the Chinese embassy also denounces this legislative push, echoing concerns raised by advocacy groups that restrictions may, quote, fuel Asian hatred, particularly following a spike in hate crimes amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Thanks for watching. In this time of media mistrust, Straight Arrow News is on a mission to bring you unbiased, fact-based reporting. So like and subscribe to Straight Arrow News below. And to see all of our content, go to straightarrownews.com.